Are you gonna know my Hey guys, it is Thursday and it is update time. Well, I just got home not too long ago from the doctor. My appointment was at 10. I got home, well, it was almost 12. So I was in my bedroom. I ate lunch and I watched my soap poppers, which are doing good. I mean, they're as resembled and the beautiful eggs, especially blood and the beautiful ginger. Mmm. Mm. So, that little Sheila is getting interesting. She shot her own son and shot her daughter in law. How rude! Alright, alright. No update on me from going to the doctor. <laughs> Not exciting news. Very, very bad news. I gotta go back to the doctor tomorrow morning. So I can't eat nothing in the morning because I have to go to the doctor and do some blood work so they don't want me to have nothing to eat. I could probably drink water. That's basically all I'll probably drink is water. Um so anyway, I um, told my husband I'm gonna get him up at eight o'clock in the morning so we can get there. I said get you up at eight, we'll leave the house about 8.30 so I can get there and get in by 9 and get my blood work done. Um, my doctor is on maternity leave so I had a substitute doctor today. Very sweet doctor. I love her so much. It was awesome. Anyway, she checked me out, did everything the doctor's supposed to do, you know, do work out, whatever. And I found out now that I have a heart murmur. Didn't know that. My doctor didn't tell me that. Um, go back to a little heart, 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 heart story time. When I was born, I was born with a hole in my heart. And I've had it ever since then. The doctor told my mother my heart was the hole in my heart would close up when I got older. It has not closed up yet, so I have a heart murmur. Secondly, and I have to go to a cardiologist, and they're going to check my heart. Okay. Also, when I was younger, I had kidney surgery because I could not potty correctly. So I found out that my kidneys are at 19% when they should be at 100%. And not 19%. If they get any lower than 19%, they're going to have to put me on dialysis twice a week, probably. And I'll be on dialysis. And I don't want that. Because I just don't really want to go on dialysis. I feel fine. I don't feel like anything's wrong. But I just can't do this. I uh, gained six pounds since last time, and I know I said I was trying to lose weight, and I did say I did not know. I was 152, so I gained six pounds, she said, and here I thought I was losing weight, and I'm gaining weight. So, let me read something to you. I am taking high blood pressure pills. They had me on Losterin 20, oh, Losterin 25 milligrams and I'm on the same medication but they upped it to 50 milligrams. So I'll be picking my prescription up Saturday because my husband has to work tomorrow. I'm also taking um, Ultra Mega 3 Mini soft gels, this is a hundred milligram. Um purify it's like um fish oil, so I've been taking these. Um I'll show you what one looks like. <laughs> Can I get one out? It, they're beautiful. Once you look at the side of it, it makes me beautiful. It kinda looks like it's looking like gold, like gold diamonds, but it kinda looks like a little gold thing. But this is what they look like. So uh, I've been taking these. I was taking baby aspirins, but the doctor told me to take the baby aspirins 
Today she told me don't take them no more. I'm off of the baby aspirins. I said good because I'm done with them. And at night, I take these before I go to bed. It's um, bladder control. There's 52. It's a dietary supplement. It's been making, I've been going pee every five minutes at night. When I go to bed, I lay in bed and I get comfortable. And what's really shocked horses butt is I get comfortable and I'm about to ready to be out like a light and go to La La Land. And I got to go tinkle. So I have to get up and go to the bathroom and go pee pee. Then I get back and lay in bed and I'm tossing. Because when I'm turning and tossing and turning, I get up and have to pee again. And it sucks. So. It says take one morning, noon, and night, these things, but I usually take it at bedtime. But since I've been reading this, what I think I will do is I will take one in the morning and I will take one at night time. I'm not going to take three a day, but I'll take one in the morning and one at night. That way it, you know, will help me out a little bit. And then I have my 99 milligrams. This is another dietary supplement. It's heart healthy. Um, my potassium tablets, um, I've been having a lot of Charlie horses, so my cousin said it's because you don't have potassium in your body, and my doctor told me yesterday that I have potassium tablets. She is putting me on calcium tablets, so I have to take some calcium, um, so I do have to take calcium tablets, so when I go to Dr. Saturday, I mean, when I go pick up my prescription Saturday, I have two prescriptions I have to pick up and I have to put in my calcium tablet. So I have to start taking a calcium tablet every morning now. Like I do my potassium tablet. I have to start taking these. These aren't bad. These are like the size of a Tylenol. So they're not bad. So now I got to start taking my calcium tablets at least because... I told her today about my Charlie horses, and I said, I bought a bottle of potassium tablets because they're supposed, when I do take them, they help me with my Charlie horses, and I don't have a Charlie horse, and I've been having Charlie horses, and I've really been having them, but I haven't really been taking my potassium tablets, and I told her I drink a glass of milk at bedtime, so I have to cut down on a lot of things. That I don't want to cut down on. Sweets. Y'all all know. And I broadcasted. When I did what I got from my husband. And my husband. I also posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook. Of my husband. Getting me a cheesecake. For Mother's Day. Hmm. I love cheesecake. Can't have it anymore. I can have it. Once in a while. But. Not something you want to eat all the time. And I told her, I said, the only time I ever get cheesecakes or anything else is for, like, birthday, Mother's Day. I said, my anniversary's coming up. I did tell my doctor. I said, my anniversary's coming up, so I'll be going out to eat dinner with my husband. The only time we ever go out to eat is on special occasions. I said, I did have a chili dog for Mother's Day because he bought me a chili dog. And I told her, I said, the hot dog, the chili didn't give me indigestion, but the hot dog did. It made me massive indigestion heartburn. So, I love chili dogs. It's one of my favorite foods. It's chili dogs and spaghetti, and I can't have that no more. So, I've been going today, today I'm actually fixing to be going and looking up some recipes that I can have, certain things that I can eat and things like that there are some things that like last night if you saw my picture i posted on instagram and facebook that i made a pasta taco salad which was good 
My doctor says I can still eat my lettuce wraps with tuna, but I cannot put mayonnaise in my tuna fish. I have to eat it plain. Or I have to, and she said, if you want something else with it, put avocados. So I'm probably going to have to take an avocado, slice it up, put the tuna and tuna and avocado. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing. Kind of looks ugh. But we'll try. I have to do a lot. I'm still, I'm not going to lie. I've been drinking sodas, but I'm drinking tea now. And I found some vegan sugar um, that I actually like. It's vegan sugar. And it says vegan on it for vegan. So I actually like it. And when I told my doctor about it, I showed her a picture of the vegan sugar. And she's like, man, I'm going to have to try that. I said, it tastes just like regular sugar, but it's vegan. And I put it in my tea. I said, I use two eggs in my tea. And that's all I put in my tea. And it is good. Now, now I have nothing here to drink. My little coaster is empty. And I'm like, oh, but give me something. So, and I was making, I told my husband, I said, on the 28th, my doctor prescribed for me, I was supposed to be going to work, trying to get a job and go to work at a nursing home down the street from my house. And my doctor says, your best bet is not to go to work right now. You need to get your kidneys checked out and your heart checked out before you get a job to make sure you can work. And the doctor, kidney doctor, says it's okay for you to go to work. With you having high blood pressure and kidney problems and having um, heart issues, I don't think you should get a job. I don't think you should get a job to work. So, I said okay. Kind of disappointed. She said, right now, until you get everything checked out, I would not go to work. I think I'm fine. I think I sh could be able to work. That's me. But I'm going to actually obey my doctor. When I told my husband that, he's like, well, okay. I mean, you know. And I said, I got some things. So I have to make a list of things I need to get done. And... I have to find out on days that he is off. Um, this coming week, I have to make an appointment. i got to find out what day he's off so I can make an appointment to go to the kidney doctor and the heart doctor um, this coming week. So I have to figure out what day he's off during the week. And Saturdays, they're not usually open. So I have to do it during the week and find out exactly when he is off so I can make an appointment and say can I come in this day my husband's off he doesn't have to call in sick or you know call in late blah 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 what can I do and that is something that I want to get done so basically I'm going to be sitting here making a list of things I have to do this coming week and everything and see what I can do and get situated so I can do what I have to do and then I will come back next Thursday and let y'all if I have an appointment next week let y'all know what the kidney doctor says um, if I don't if I get an appointment I'll let you know when my appointment is if it's already came I'll let you know on um, my Hopefully, I get my test results back from the doctor when I go in the morning and let y'all know what's up. They're checking to see if I am a diabetic because I'm trying to lose weight, trying to eat healthy, but not really working that good. Um, so, I want to see some things. So, here's what I'm going to do. Um... Let me know in the comments down below if you are a diabetic and there is or you're on a diet and there's something that you eat that you like so much. Will y'all comment down below and let me know so I can start doing better because I'm fixing to really have to start cutting down on what I eat and start doing better at what I eat as well. 
So, hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, until next time, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of more videos. But please, let me know some things that y'all might be eating that is helping you out with low-carb diet. Or helping you out if you are diabetic. That is something that is healthy that you can eat. The doctor took me off of cheese, so I cannot have cheese. I cannot eat cheese anymore, and I cannot have mayonnaise. Even if it's light mayonnaise, like I've been buying light mayonnaise, I can't have mayonnaise no more. So if I eat a turkey sandwich, I have to eat a bowling green. And that's kind of like, ugh. But she said guacamole sauce as to put on there. So um, I'm going to have to see about getting some guacamole sauce to put for substitute for mayonnaise. So I will be writing, um, texting my husband to tell him to pick up some milk and I'll see if he can find some avocado or guacamole sauce. I can have the guacamole sauce on my thing for bread, for mayonnaise for bread and see if he can find me a jar of that that I can use to eat with my sandwiches. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a blessed, wonderful Thursday. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Bye, guys. Keep me in prayer. Until next time.